Welcome back to part two of this little short series guys on getting up and running with a skin. I've gone ahead and installed all the add-ons that I will be using for this build. Take your time when picking your add-ons. You can always uninstall them if they don't work or anything like that. Also do your Google research. There's plenty of sites around now which will give you a tutorial on a certain add-on, show you how it works. All that good stuff now the next step is to get your skin installed the skin that I'm going to be using is in fact the Aeon Nox 5 Silvo mod very popular skin um, uh, I'm going to be using the global edition which was modded and put together by H24 looks really nice and um, really simple for people who don't like to unpack and repack skins and it just gives you something extra to add to your skin along with changing font colours and stuff like that. I will leave a link in the description of H24's Twitter page. Make sure to go on over there and follow him and I'll also leave a link in the description for a download file to get this. So once you've downloaded it you want to save it if you're using an android box download it on pc stick it on a usb drive and then plug that usb into your android box same with raspberry pis and anything like that or you could just go on the web browser on your device and download it that way it will go to your downloads folder and it will most likely go to um you will have a source here that links you to your root file system like there's mine mine's my home folder no it's not it is my c drive and i will go into my user whatnot and whatnot and there is my downloads folder it will be on an android box 99 percent of the time in your root directory so make sure that you take note of that when you if you are downloading it that way otherwise if you was just to plug in a usb the usb would appear in this list here either way that's how you do it i've got this downloaded so i'm going to go into my system i'm going to go to add-ons i'm going to install from zip file and i'm going to go to my c drive my user i'm going to go to my downloads and that's it there skin.aonox silvo h24 glow make sure that it has dot zip on the end and you just want to select that and you will see something's doing in the corner there wait for this little pop up here would you like to switch to this skin select yes and then you want to keep this change now Things have changed quite a lot. There will still be some um, doings on going up there. Just allow that to update everything that it's updating. And once those boxes disappear, there we go, you will see it does look, look a lot different. Now, don't be phased by this at all. you still got your same options, only there's a few more and it looks a little bit different. So... We are then going to go into system, appearance, and as you can see, the skin is in fact Aeon Nox 5 Silvo. And to get to your main menu for editing, you want to go into your settings and then you want to go set up the Aeon Nox main menu. And as you can see, these are all your options here. I'm going to leave this to the next video. The last thing that I do, in fact, want to show you in this video is categorizing your add-ons. So you want to go to your video add-ons and you want to find the categories add-on. You want to hit the context menu. I just hit C on my keyboard add on settings and you will see three different categories now this is the names of the categories that you want to add so 
my first category is going to be movies so i'm going to type that in there and hit done my second category is going to be tv shows and my third category sports and my last category is going to be live tv you could also add as you can see this space for loads of categories here i'm going to add one more which is going to be kids section as you can see i've done this in the video categories section for audio you could also categorize your audio so you could have albums singles etc etc i'm just keeping it simple with the video categories i'm going to hit ok and then i'm going to open this categories add-on so as you can see i've got 23 add-ons in total installed on here so these are just videos video add-ons sorry so because i've opened this categories add-on from within the video add-on section it is showing me all the video add-ons installed if i was to open it in the music add-on section this would then show me how many music add-ons i've got installed and the same for programs well, all i'm going to do here is i'm going to select which add-on it is i want to add to a category i'm going to bring up my context menu on that and i'm going to select add to category now bbc iplayer i would categorize that under tv shows so all i'm going to do is select that from the list bbox iptv i would add that to two categories i would add it to sports so i'm going to do that and i'm also going to add it to live tv now if i was to go back a page you can see that these categories have now appeared because they have an add-on in them each and if i was to hit tv shows bbc iplayer sports bbox live tv bbox again so basically before i forget what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring up my context menu on that and i'm going to add them to my favorites the same with sports and the same with live tv that about sums up what i want to show you to this stage the next stage i will show you how to get these categories here added onto your main menu and how to change the color of your main menu thanks for watching guys